So this is designing games? Yes, they were wow. great games. They were start from design until the whole development process. Wow. So here we showcase some of student projects. Wow. So here we have, last year we did collaboration with Parliament House Singapore. So we developed three games for them. Uh -huh. And are there actual businesses and research design centers here that they can go to work for? Are there yeah, like yeah, yeah. R&Ds yeah, yeah. that do this type of stuff here in Singapore? Yeah, yeah, development. Yeah. And, and what age kids are doing this type of stuff? Our students yeah. from 17. 17 up, starting. 17, about 17 to 20 years old. So does it take them long to get into this type of stuff? They How study here two years. Uh -huh. So this is done in the last six months. Mm -hmm. So it, there's a final year, final semester projects. Right. So we have about uh, six students work on this year study. They study theories. Uh -huh. Where the programming they need to have fundamental knowledge of sure. uh, programming, physics, mathematics, all these things. Right. They need to build their logics. Uh -huh. Then they will do the games programming. Right. Artists will learn their foundations of drawings, mm -hmm. uh, 3D modeling. Then mm. they will develop this also. But there's a lot of math involved in this? Uh, for our students, we use game engine a lot. Mm -hmm. So most of the physics are inbuilt in the game engines. Okay. All right, great. Uh, similarly, there's another uh, Parliament House project, it's bubble called Catch. So when you want to answer the questions, you go catch the colors. Mm -hmm. So the, when the color match, you get to answer the question. Wow. Mm -hmm. Neat. There are three of them. And here's another one your kids did, part, mm -hmm. partly. Partly bubble catch is the same as the one. Mm. So there's another one. Yes, last year we collaborate with uh, UOB Travel. They also engage us to do a game for their Nata Spell. Mm, to to uh, promote their travel package right. to Australia, so our student did one game for them. There are mm -hmm. three mini games. In Here I'm looking down from the fifth story. You see how beautiful the landscaping is. Even the escalators. Look at them. They're even lit up with lights. But uh, everything is just so beautiful and modern here. Here's one of the karate clubs. Are these your kids on here? So here I am at the ITE. I'm at their uh, professional hair salon that's open to the public. And as you can see, you got the teacher working right along with two of the students here. They're both 18 years old. Fantastic program, getting a fantastic haircut, and this is what education should be all about. The kids get out of the program debt free. They start at 17 years old. A little bit about the system and what they were kind of telling me. Okay. You were most kids go to a four or five year where they take their O levels and their N levels. Right. Right. But then there is a special school that uh, these kids went to. Um, they're actually only two in Singapore, where they don't take the O levels or the N levels. They take uh, what is your your school? vocational school really? right for um, underachievers sure right so they give them a skill right and from there because they learned it a little bit in their fourth year, fourth year I think third year and fourth year third year third year, third year that would have been age seven eight that would be grade nine in the 15, US system yeah. 15, so 15 right and 19, nine, 15 and 16 nine years and 10 old. right so right. they started learning this they started learning compared to the other kids that we have there are a few that come from this school okay and these two come from that school so they started learning cosmetology there cosmetology yes exactly for two years first it's one of the modules that they do and then before they decide on which one they actually want to specialize in right. or where they want to go to. Cosmetology is just one of the things which they which uh, they were they, introduced to. Yes. What what so, were some of the others? Uh, like retail retail okay. where you learn how to sell. Or right. if it's a girl you could do uh, beauty therapy, makeup, really um, massage, you could do like simple blow dries for cosmetology. Right. Right. So he was introduced a little bit earlier than other kids. Uh -huh. Right. And then once they, they decided these two decided to do hairdressing continue with it right? and then they came to us and that's when they are accepted uh, oh, okay. where the other who goes to a mainstream they have to have at least net n, n levels which is the four years right uh, four, fifth year fifth year, fifth year. Yeah, fourth year or fifth year right. depending on the which one they decide. so they'd come in at about age 17, 17 yeah, maybe 16 16 or, 16 or 17 okay right and then then they decide to come uh, to so better they want to do cosmetology. Right. What school did you go to before? We went to uh, Assumption Park Free School. Oh, I know where that's at. Uh, yeah. And then you then after Assumption, you came here. Yes. 
And, and that's what you're telling me? You're talking yes. to me something about Assumption Pathway yes. School? Yes, it's a vocational school. Oh, okay. right? So they don't learn like uh, full on maths and English and science. Right. They don't do that. They do things like... Um, they do some math, math, right? Some maths, yeah. But, some, but, but, but very maths. practical math. Yeah, practical maths, like maths on how to calculate uh, your salary, right. how to do simple inventory. Right. Yeah, not so much maths as in like A and plus and, and graphs right. and they don't algebra have and all that. No stuff. algebra. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, and there's simple. only two of these schools. Yeah, only two. And then they would feed this type of school. Yes. One of the screens when you walk in, it says we use our resources and skills to help the community. And again, this whole concept of this school was designed around like they're bringing the community here. There's a gourmet restaurant. Here's the community, all the shops where I just got my hair cut. Here's a cell phone store. Here's a uh, culinary restaurant. There's the bank. And again, the kids actually work in that bank. Um, there's a bookstore. There's a supermarket over there, a full-on supermarket uh, with everything you need right straight ahead. So again, the concept here was getting the community to buy in on vocational education, that it's good for the community, it helps everyone, and it's a good thing. Because here in Singapore, one of the problems is that the, the mentality, the psyche is that all students really are going to go to college. That's what the parents push here. Uh, where in, in the U.S. we say that, but for most students it won't be a reality here. That's the drive. So it was a little bit of a hard sell, but again, about 25% of the students here in the mix actually go into the vocational schools here in Singapore. And again, here at the seat, the ITV, look at this, full-on supermarket. So the community comes here, here's the outside of their sport gallery, which is up on the fifth floor. And this is part of the rock climbing gym, but look at this. This probably a five-story rock climbing complex they have here at this uh, high school. Is this a huge gym or what? This is massive. So they have quite a large sports program here.